What's up YouTube? Look who's gonna join me today and he's not in the background working. You know, he actually got done a while ago. So we're just gonna hear he's gonna help me out. We have two clutches that we're gonna pull out today. I'm gonna do one and Big Dog's gonna do the other one. Also, at the end of the vlog, I am gonna show you some footage of the 62 and Paul, which I forgot to do on the last vlog. If you guys do like cars, stay till the end and check that out. But yeah. <laughs> and also, big shout out to Alicia Reptiles. Oh, that's pretty cool. You yeah. Know what? Dude, look who finally handed me a shirt. Do you know Do you know this guy? Kind of. He kind of went missing with me for like yeah, two or three dude, weeks. Yeah, I've been wanting the shirt since it first came out and I even voted on this one. Yeah. And it was about six months till I got you one. You just got one now? I, dude, just Damn. got one around. Wow. No respect. No respect. No respect. All right, guys. So we're going to get into these clutches. These are some awesome, awesome clutches, man. And by the way, I just cut two epic clutches. The odds weren't on my side this one time, but man, we still got some bangers. So you ready, Jesse? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. So here's the first female. This is a black pack style albino and this girl just laid a massive massive clutch for us i mean i think it's probably the biggest clutch i've ever had from what i could see but i think there's around 10 maybe 11 we'll see more when we take her out but let's get this one going and then jesse will do the other one also if you guys want to get some rep to chip you guys know what we guys have to do hit up my brother at aep foreman put his information in the description down, down below or we'll just put it right here or Right there. Wherever you put it at, Josh. Yeah, at AP Foreman. Okay, so we had to take a little break just because um, we didn't have a box ready. I told Jesse to get one ready and didn't want to. Did you notice something on your tray? Someone left you. Uh, you haven't noticed it, huh? Yeah. Oh, you did? Right there. Make sure you guys go check out Renown Reptiles. Nick. Big Nick, Big Dog Nick. But also, before I show you guys the snake, let me show you what I paired her with. Again, that was a black pastel albino. And we bred that to a... Want to get that, Big Dog? Yeah. Just stick your hand in there. Just grab it. Don't be afraid. Just, oh man, Damn, big dog's learning. I don't know where it's at. Damn, Jesse, oh. don't you know that that line is just nothing but males? <laughs> man. All right, so right here we have a, right here we have a cinnamon pinstripe candino. Look at that. So that's what we bred to that girl. And I'm telling you guys, I think this might be our biggest clutch yet over here at AEP. So let's get this going. Come in close, big dog. Spear fingers, spear fingers. Bang. Pro status. Jesse, what do you rate that, seriously, out of 1 through 12? That was a, like a 15. Oh, man, you look mad. I'm sorry, girl, I'm sorry. Stay right there. Holy hell, dude. This is a huge clutch. I'll count them right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Holy hell, dude. Last year we had an 11 egg layer as well, but wow, that is so big. And it looked great. All right, guys, so we're going to count them real quick. Good thing I have Jesse. We're gonna clean this up, do a full clean on it. Like I said, it gets them eating a lot faster, and then we'll be right back. Jesse, real quick, do you think all these are gonna fit in here? Dude, I think we might need two tubs. I think so too. All right, we'll find out. Wow guys, 11 healthy eggs. I'm pretty sure you guys got a little glimpse right now of the candling. So we're gonna mark them up, then put the shade on it, put an incubator, wait for the turtle to come in. So she get all the information down and do her 16, 17 on the what clutch around. 17 so far, we have one more to go. Jess, you excited about the next shows? Yeah, dude, to meet everybody and... So you're gonna start breeding snakes? I, that's a big possibility now, yeah. after what I saw this weekend. Hopefully you do. You should start breeding um, King Cobras. <laughs> Get one of, <laughs> be one of the first people to like hand tank king cobras. All right, that's a huge clutch. It's a good one. It's a healthy one. All right, so we have one down so far, and again, it was a black pastel albino. Just is about to do the other one, and we've already put it in the incubator. As you guys can see, it's getting completely full. But we're gonna wait for the turtle for all the information. So let's get let's get the other egg box ready, and then have Jesse show us his technique. So this next clutch is another highly anticipated clutch over here at AEP. She didn't have a big clutch from what I could see, but again, everything's gonna be chocolate. It's a super chocolate head pied bred to this male right here. And I totally forgot that he's currently a little busy. I think he's still making love, and yes, he is. So again, this is an orange dream, yellow belly, GNX, inchy pied. And he was bred to the super chocolate head pied, but this is the male. And right now he is breeding to a leopard lester yellow belly head pied. This would be some pretty cool stuff right here, kind of. Man, big dog's about to show us his skills. 
Are you nervous? No, not really. Damn! Oh, luckily that was a slug. The tail. Dang, like a fro. It's my bro right there. I might not know the morphs, but I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to check her for inside, so she's completely empty. Oh, she's really empty, bro. Dang, big dog. So I'm gonna see, hold her up real quick. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a small clutch, but we have one slug as well. All right, big homie, I'm gonna put those in. Bro, just put all of them in there. there oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, I can't take it. I got it, I got it, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> all right, guys. We're about to count them right now and separate them. Because <laughs> if I have Jesse, this is going to take a long time. I'm almost done. I got two more. I got two more to go. Eddie might pop one. Damn, bro. Put your fingers on it. See? Dang, man. Oh, non snake got breeder. It. Non snake breeder. <laughs> all right, guys. So we have six healthy eggs. We just candled them. Jesse's going to mark them down real quick. Next time for one the thirteen. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, no, bro? bro like at thirteen, <laughs> bro. That's about to thrust it, dude. Bro, about to thrust it. That's a straight up thrust it, dude. Or it could be a butt. <laughs> no, no, bro, that's a straight thrust. I know what you were doing. All right, the vlog's not over yet. Like I said, we're gonna wait for the turtle to come for football practice with Ace, and then she's gonna get all the formation done. But I believe this is clutch number 17 and 18. But also, guys, I cut this clutch and that clutch already. And the first clutch I cut was a sunset bred to a Gotham. Then my next clutch was a blackhead leopard head pied to a pinstripe and cheap hide. And let me tell you, we got some amazing stuff there, but I'll show you guys those clutches when they come out of the eggs. Till now, let's go check out the Impala and then just wait for a turtle to get here. Let's check inside the Impala. Again, it's a 62 Impala I got from a good friend of mine. So let's check out this AEP Impala. That's what I'm gonna call it. What he did is he put in some new gauges. These things do light up at night. He refinished the steering wheel. Got it painted again to match the color of the car. I had does have a full system on there, which I am gonna upgrade a little bit. He did all of the interior, as you can see, to match the car. He did not have interior at all. Has some suede, not sure if the camera's picking it up. I'm trying to do my best. And of course, it has a switch box right here. These are the two main ones. This will be for the front to go up. This will be the for the back to go up and down. But I know a lot of you are thinking, oh man, is that thing on the hydraulics? No, it's on airbags, which I'm very happy for because it's a way more comfortable ride. But this thing, I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. I want to get one more Impala. I want to get a 63 rag top. If I were to have the 62, 63, and I already have my 64, I'll have all the Impalas that I've wanted since I was a little kid growing up. Remember my brother and I, we used to get the little models and we used to build them up. It was so cool. I even put little switches on it. Burp, burp, burp. But yeah, man, to have some in real life now is so amazing. And these things are, I mean, dude, they're in great condition. Man, again, love this thing, 62 Impala. Isn't that 62 Impala amazing? I know, I'm just gonna do a little minor things to it. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it because it's already done up pretty good. But guess who's in the room? Get that handwriting down and get all that info. Yes, the turtle, <laughs> the turtle's here. All right, turtle, pull out those clutches and do your biz. Okay. What clutch is that one, turtle? 17. Aren't you gonna use your whack fingers? No. Dang. We got 18 right here. This one's heavier. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a lot, lot of clutches to six, big dog. They're not clutches, they're eggs. Uh, what do you think you call clutches? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and that was 18. Clutch, aren't you gonna do your finger thing? <laughs> <18? laughs> You're cool. 
<laughs> well, guys, that's it for this vlog. As always, appreciate all the love and support. And until next time. You do. Peace. Peace.